Oh, oh, we know that sound all too fucking well. Yeah, we'll take some cable. Okay, early in the morning. Just pulled recon one out, pressure washed the front axle a little bit. Tried to tried to clean it up and get all that white limestone and sand off of it. At least make it where I can work. So so we got the Jeep up on jack stands, gonna be popping these tires off, setting them underneath the frame rails for safety. And we're gonna start disassembling this passenger side front axle and uh, see what we find. Okay, with the unit bearing off, the first thing I'm noticing is the CV will turn like this way, but not, it, it has no flexibility really without hitting it with the mallet to move it towards the front of the Jeep. A little bit of flex up and down, but I'm getting big resistance here in the CV. So that's the first strange thing right here. I'm going to uh, undo the boot and see what happens. Okay, sadly, exactly like the other side, as soon as I release the CV out of the boot, the whole outer end just came out in my hand. Exactly like the other side. So I released the pressure on the boot right here and the whole, the whole outer end came out. Uh, you can see that the, the spines are just all rolled over. There's, there's no clip. It's, uh, it's just completely gone. Exact same thing. Exact same thing that happened on my driver's side happened on my passenger side. Okay, it's not easy, but if you put a bunch of oil on the knuckle right here and you use a heat gun and gently warm the orange boot, you can take a little rubber mallet and gently work it back and forth and actually pound the orange boot through the, through the knuckle. It can be done. I did it on the last one. I just did it here. So now I'm trying to get this axle shaft out of the axle tube and out of the carrier. Okay, you can see that the splines are in fact, they're rounded. They're rounded out just exactly like the other side. No sign of a clip, failure in the splines. Okay, a little tip. It was difficult, but I was able to put a, clean the, clean the grease off the shaft, put some vice grips on it, and then use a big ass screwdriver and pry it. I, you can see the little mark right there on the seal on the outer tube seal, but I just pried it out right there and, and it broke free. So now we're gonna pull this shaft out and inspect it. Uh, I'm hoping that at least the inside's okay, but the outside's completely gone. You can see just like the other axle shaft six months ago that the, there's chunks of steel taken out of the splines on this shaft. Happily, looks like everything is A-OK -okay on, uh, on the locker end, thank God. But uh, that's what we have. Okay, so not much that can be done right here. Um, Got the axle out. I took pictures. I took detailed pictures of both the splines that were ruined on the uh, shaft itself that goes into the outer, and then of course the inside of the CV. So just like the driver's side, no no clip to be found, no parts, just completely ground down to nothing. I'm looking. Okay, so recount one's gonna sit on these jack stands for a while. Uh, half a dozen pictures were sent to uh, Luke over at uh, RCV, as well as the axle shaft number and the uh, born on date and all that information. So uh, the exact same thing has happened on my passenger side that happened on my driver's side six months ago. So, so we're on standby to hear back from them. Um, other than that, you know, it was basically uh, 
basically all came apart relatively easy because I use anti seize and so forth, and I'm always working on my Jeep and PMing it. But uh, so, you know, an hour, hour and a half. But uh, we're on standby right now. I don't want to put my uh, stock shafts in. I most certainly could if I had to run the Jeep. But, you know, last time RCV really was great and stood behind their product. And within a week, I had a brand new assembled driver, driver's side axle shaft. I'm hoping they do the same on this one. Uh, I've asked them in the email, you know, is there somehow I got a bad batch? Is there something wrong with the heat treatment process? Perhaps, I don't know. Um, because I'm shocked too, but, you know, like I said, uh, they did stand behind it before, so hopefully that's the case. And uh, we'll get, these, uh, get this Jeep, Jeep up and running and get back on the trail.